Hello my soccer universe, now for the Europa League draw, Europa League draw. I really like to say the German way, Europa League in this case, because that's the way it is written. And yes, um, this one is a little bit more tricky, as nice as the Champions League draw was and the, uh, pan, panned out. Uh, this one not so much, uh, as it's not as evenly matched. Um, and right off the bat we got a duel that is, yeah, that's the game that everyone will look forward to. Napoli comes at first and Arsenal second. So we play Napoli Arsenal and due to, as we will see, uh, the home field advantage needed to be flipped. So Arsenal will actually play first uh, at home and then uh, the things shift to Naples. Uh, I'm honestly not sure how this works, but you know, we know that our, our Arsenal is really bad away from home and really good at home. So yeah, if Napoli can get a uh, good result and full disclosure, nothing against Arsenal, but I personally want to see uh, Napoli win this Europa League. Uh, just matter of fact, I actually would like to see if I really could choose every, everything, I would like to see a uh, Napoli Benfica final. That would be great. But yeah, so Napoli Arsenal, the big matchup right uh, out. Then the next one is drawn via Real and we get Valencia. So we have more or less a local derby between those two teams uh, in the next, uh, in the quarter final. Which I'm not sure. I think Valencia is probably gonna like that one. Uh, because you know, Villarreal is not doing that uh, well in the league. And after having a little bit of travel, Krasnodar and so on, I mean, it's right around the corner. And I think this is a pretty good matchup. Then Benfica comes out and plays Frankfurt. Uh, that's another. Not so bad matchup. I was not so impressed by Benfica uh, in this round of 16 now, but Benfica Frankfurt. Uh, I'll be interested how how many Frankfurt fans will make it to uh, to the Stadio de Luz. But yeah, another good one. And then there's a pretty one-sided left. Slavia Chelsea. Although I really hope that Slavia uh, can at least tease Chelsea a little bit. But yeah. As, as, as I said, I mean, the first three all have something going for them. And then you have Slavia, Chelsea, which is, uh, you know, at the moment it looks like a foregone conclusion, especially if you look at the market values of those two teams. Uh, there can only be one winner. Chelsea has by far, by far the most expensive squad. Uh, I think ahead of Napoli and Arsenal, or, or something like that. Or Arsenal and then Napoli, which is usually a good indicator. So yeah, this is uh, the pairings, um, as I said, Napoli, Arsenal, that, that could be a Champions League game. Maybe round of 16 match matchup, potentially quarterfinal. I think uh, that's really interesting. Um, now, how will it pan out? Uh, the winner of Befica Frankfurt will uh, play the winner of Slavia Chelsea. So um, I think Assuming that Chelsea goes on, Chelsea, Frankfurt, Chelsea, Benfica, two really nice matchups. And Chelsea, Benfica is, of course, a rematch of a, a Europa League final. Was it 2013? I think so, when Chelsea won. And then Arsenal, Napoli against Villarreal, Valencia. It actually was so funny because they really, when the draw was made, pairing one versus pairing two, pairing three versus pairing four. You don't need a draw for that. Uh, but then they flipped it around. Uh, for the final, so Benfica, Frankfurt, Slavia, or Chelsea will have the home field advantage in the final. Um, I think the way the semi final setups is a little bit fairer because it would be really hard if Arsenal and Napoli would have to play than uh, Chelsea. Or so. I think I like better with Villarreal Valencia. Don't underestimate those two Spanish teams. I would assume that Valencia goes on, but again. Even if Villarreal goes through, we had an Arsenal Villarreal semi final once in the Champions League. I still cannot believe that Villarreal made it all the way there. But yeah, as I said, it's not quite, quite as even. I would have liked Napoli and Arsenal to not play each other. Um, I think, from a competitive point, point of view, that the Benfica 
Frankfurt matchup is probably the most interesting one. I think those two are quite evenly matched. Well, Arsenal, Arsenal, Napoli too. But I, I actually really like Frankfurt overall the way they're playing. So let's see how we are this where this is going. And yeah, I'm anyway gonna watch. I'm gonna look forward to all of that. Well, let me know which uh, matchups you like. And if you don't think a Napoli Arsenal is the best matchup in this round, please let me know why you think that others are better. Uh, for me, it is Arsenal Napoli, the Mefica Frankfurt, Villarreal Valencia is the third, and Slavia Chelsea is the least interesting to me personally. This doesn't mean I. I'm, I'm, I'm saying there are bad teams in there, quite, quite, quite the opposite, but that's how I feel. Uh, the competitive balance and looking forward to that. Um, I, if you ask me, Napoli, Arsenal, who who will go through? For me, it's a toss-up. I'm more curious to see what Ancelotti can and will do uh, with Arsenal and if he can field a full-strength team, you know, with Insigne injured and all that kind of stuff. Because Napoli clearly. Yes, they let it loose a little bit too much in the second half and they almost would have gotten in trouble, not really, uh, as the third goal the Salzburg was scored in stoppage time. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video as well. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.